Welcome everyone to the Finding Hope Show, episode 48, why you need to start a podcast in 2023. Now, while I would love to be all spiritual and everything, the truth is God works in all parts of our lives. We need hope in everything, in our relationships, in our business. We need hope for everything and we need to expect for better things to come. And that is why I love sharing the news of Jesus Christ, because when we have the hope of Christ, then we truly do have hope for better things to come. Rather than if we have hope in the world, then we just never know what's going to come next. Because what about your intentions? You know, what is driving you for that business? Are you merely concerned with popularity or money? Because we know that all these things are temporary. But when you do things God's way, we know that the effects can last for generations. And more importantly, we know that you're going to last forever. And so have you ever wondered what a podcast could do for you? Why start a podcast now? What's all the rave about? And the truth is about that is that things are always changing and the business model is changing. World economics is changing and it's a fast pace out there. Sometimes it's hard to keep up. Am I right? And so starting a podcast for you could mean getting your message across in a new and exciting way. And yes, you are up with the trends, but you can do this your way. And so I believe that one of the things that you should consider for your business is starting a podcast. And that is one thing that has helped me tremendously in what I do. Now, starting out, I mean, I love communications and arts anyway. So I had a true passion for that. But more importantly, I love spreading the news of Jesus Christ. But what about you? What's in it for you? What is your message? Could it be that podcasting that everyone's listening to, that many people can drive to work to and listen to? Could it be that podcasting could be a great way for you to spread your message or give people news about your direct marketing product or perhaps your family life. You want to encourage other mothers. You want to inspire other moms and dads to be better parents. Maybe you want to share the gospel. Maybe you want to share about that new drink that you created. It could be anything. There are all kinds of niches and all kinds of opportunity there. And so even if you're not the best with communication, it's okay. Maybe there's somebody in your ministry or your business that could do things better for you. And so in keeping up with the trends, you don't have to be a slave to all the trends, but you can get ahead of the curve and you can be an inspiration for your business. And there are many resources out there for you to do. Now, Sean Connell, Connell Connell, I believe it's Sean Connell from YouTube, he says that content creation is one of the fastest growing businesses. And we can thank COVID for that, right? We can think about the the evil in the world today and all the fear has changed a lot of things. You know, like I said, things are constantly changing. And so with that, we think of different ways to expand our business and our ministries. We can be creative and seek out opportunity. 
And there is much opportunity to be had. And it may not be in the traditional sense, but it's exciting to know that you can have the flexibility that you want and that you crave. You know, start slow, start finding ways to expand your reach and find the resources that you need to get going and just start today. And so what about limitations? You may ask, what are my limitations? This seems like a big task ahead of me. I mean, a podcast that reaches, you know, could reach millions of people. It's okay. You know, I started a podcast because, well, I loved media and communications. But also, I had a passion for spreading hope. Spreading the news of Christ, you know, that was my passion. But you don't have to have fancy equipment starting out. Don't get distracted, and I've been there, don't get distracted by all these things. Just start today while the getting's hot, (laughs) while it's on fire. Get ahead of the curve right now. Start today. You can start from your smartphone. You don't have to be an expert. You know, I've got a master's degree, but the best way that I've learned is just to step in the game and do it. I've learned communications in college, but it it never really sank in until I started doing it. And so it's really, truly amazing how things change, but we don't have to allow these things to impact us in a negative fashion. We can use them to thrust us forward. And that's what I did. You know, I started to reject the fear, the feelings of fear and no longer sit on the sideline. I wanted to be part of the game. And that's not to say there weren't roadblocks and there are not roadblocks along the way because It is definitely a journey. But when I chose to finally let go of the fear, let go of some of the addictions, then guess what? Things started to change for me. And it's been a process. It's it's always going to be a process. But I'm becoming a better person in this process. And it's so much more fulfilling that way. You know, even if it takes 10, 12 years, you know, since I started finally getting my head in the game and my heart and aligning everything God's way, my passion ignited and I got excited and no, it's not overnight success, but I'm okay with that now. Because I know if I do things God's way, I will have peace. And that's what we're searching for, truly. We want to find peace in our jobs. If you're just sitting at your job miserable, you're wasting your time. Now, we all have to have a means to an end. We we have to provide for our families. And so even if we have to waitress, do whatever we need to do, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And it's okay. It's okay, you know, to start small. And maybe that's all we want. Maybe that's all we want is to be a waitress right now. And that's awesome for us. It works for us. And we want to do that because you know what? We have time for our families and we have time to work on our passions on the side. We do what we need to do. And that's why I think you should consider starting a podcast in 2023. And this is part one. You should truly consider the benefits of starting a podcast. There are many resources out there. And I'm here to help. YouTube is there to help. But the important thing is, is to d- n- don't expect overnight success. But just consider that one person that you're helping. Truly, that's enough. 
Because when we do things God's way, we know that all for the glory of God, we will succeed. He's not going to let you. He's not going to let your light be dimmed. Your light is meant to shine. And so I'm believing that for you today is to start thinking outside of the box. You know, things are changing, but we don't have to let the, that impact us in a negative way. No, use it to your advantage. Get ahead of the game. And maybe podcasting is absolutely out of out of your mind right now. You're like, absolutely not. What else can you do to expand your reach, your message, your product? Or if you're retired, what can you do to ignite your passion back? What do you love to do? Because I think we should all shift our perspective looking forward and we look at the world and we see the chaos of the world But let's consider getting ahead of that, being a light in the dark world. And I know that God has a great plan for you. He does for all of us. And so I just want to encourage you that there is hope. There is maybe better things to come for you very soon. Like it may be looking bleak at work. But like I said, consider Sean Cannell. And what he said that content creation is on the rise. That's a booming business. And that is blowing my mind. And it's so awesome to think of. So get your mind out of all of the negative things right now. And start getting creative again. Get that passion back. And that's what I did. You know, I got my passion back. And yes, it was through podcasting that truly ignited a fire through me. And it's been a long process of one discovery after the other. Most importantly, you know, God was working on my character so that I could be the light. And that's what he wants for you, too. He's working on your character and whatever you're going through. So that you can be a light for others. God bless you. And I'm praying that you can find the resources to start a podcast next year. Or whatever it is. Whatever new adventure that you want to start. This is part one. And I will expand on this message perhaps in a couple weeks. Thank you for joining me. If it's one thing this world needs, it's hope.